Hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about overriding PHTML file in Magento 2. Now, if you are first time watching me, make sure you like the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. Also, if you are not aware about who am I, so let me introduce myself. I am Sonal Murgare Balpande. And you are watching Sonal The Coach SMB. So let's go to my screen where I'm going to teach you step by step way to override PHTML file in Magento 2. The first step is to create the custom module. So in the custom module, first step is to create the model.xml and the registration.php in your module. So let's go and create that. So here you can see this is the, the Coach SMB is the vendor name my module is the module name then inside the etc i have created model.xml and here you can see the code and what to write in the model.xml is here module name vendor underscore model name so if you do not know uh, more about how to create the custom module i have already created a video do watch that video okay so here i will just uh, skip the explanation part of these two files module.xml and then the in the module registration.php okay so i hope you you know how to create these files and after these two files has been created you need to run the upgrade command and then the deploy command so this is the first step now in the second step what you need to do is you need to create or you need to find the file where which you want to update so here to find the template file the step is to enable the template hints. So let me go to the browser and here you can see this is the Magento site. Now let's say I want to update, I want to you know override this particular file. I want to make some changes in this file. So what I will do, I will first need to find out where this content is displaying. So to do that I will go to the template hints here and I will write I will go to the URL and I will write template hints is equal to Magento. Enter. So template hints has been on and you can see here this is the footer which is appearing and the dotted line indicates that this is the let me zoom the screen. Yes. The dotted line indicates that subscribe.phtml is the file which displays this content. Okay. So what is the model? Module newsletter and the subscribe.phtml is the file where the content is coming. Now your job is to modify this file. What we will do in that case is we will override this file. There are actually two ways to override. The first one is to overriding in the theme and the second way is to override phtml file in the module. Now in the module we are going to see in this video. So let's go and find it out from where this PHTML file is getting called. And to do that, what you need to do is we will copy this name subscribe.phtml. Okay, I will go, I will just simply copy this. Okay, and I will go to my folders. Let's say which module was that? This was the vendor magento module newsletter. This is where the file is present. So I will go to vendor magento and here module newsletter so here it is now in the newsletter where view frontend templates i will go to view frontend and then i will go to the templates and here subscribe.phtml this is the file now how this has been called Let's go to the layout and here find in find in files. Here I will search for the subscribe.phtml so that I will come to know the PHTML file which has been used. So this is the PHTML file which has been used to call the subscribe.phtml. See? Okay, so default.xml this is the file okay default.xml is the file which is calling the subscribe.phtml now what is the block name is this what is the file name is the default.xml where it is located view frontend and then layout so we are going to create the same path in our directory app 
code the coach is seen by my model and here new directory view front end where it was located front end layout and here in the layout what was the file name it's a default.xml default.xml perfect now in the default.xml as we have seen this is the module newsletter default.xml i will simply copy these lines because these are the mandatory code which need to be present in your xml file so what i will do i will simply copy this code and paste it in my xml file since the body tag has been opened let me close it let me close the place tag perfect now inside of that is the content which will actually make the changes now here my html file needs to be called so in that case what we need to do right now if you observe in the default.xml in the reference container footer okay reference container footer which is the block block this is the block which is calling the phtml file subscribe dot no so the block name is a form dot subscribe so what i will do i will simply copy this and go to here here write reference block name is equal to this is the name of the of that block see which is calling the template file yeah form dot subscribe okay name given now inside of this reference block which module to call let me just simply copy this content because this is the content which i need to change okay and then i will simply close the reference block by slash and then close tag so instead of this now i will tell the my module so the coach smd underscore my module is the my module name so what we did let me repeat it we created the same xml file in our module which was the default.xml now from the default.xml this was the block which was actually calling the subscribe.phtml so what we did is we just use the block name here in the reference block reference block block name and then template is equal to our module name vendor underscore module name scope resolution operator subscribe.phtml okay let's just save why subscribe here because after the templates subscribe.phtml is there that's why okay save here we uh, we have mentioned that the subscribe.phtml should be taken from your module but we haven't created it so it's time to create okay so view front end and here as you know templates files are getting created in the templates directory so in the templates we will create the subscribe dot subscribe dot phtml now what content to write we'll go to the core module let's see this is the core module let me just copy and we'll go to our module now and simply paste it this is the original code which was there in the subscribe.phtml i just paste it in my module and now i will modify let's say i want to modify the button name okay let's make it click here i will simply copy this put it here go to save and then let's clear the cache here in the terminal once we do that we will be able to see our changes on the site this i have already explained in the article how to override phtml file in the custom module i will share the link in the description box make sure that you watch that you see that article link and here follow the step by step everything is explained let's go to the browser and refresh the page let me remove the template hints now i'm expecting that this subscribe button will be replaced with click here let's see it perfect as you can see now click here is the button name which is now been replaced so in this way you can override the phtml files in the custom model steps are very simple few lines of code one line of code i have written but the necessary folders in the files has been created 
make sure you follow the step by step instructions and also see the article which is there in the description make sure you like and hit the subscribe button so that next videos will be posted just in your youtube see you there bye bye take care